Well, good morning, my favorite people. It is competition day and I am so nervous, but it's currently 7.30 and we're leaving at like 9.20, so I have to get ready. All right, so let's do it. Okay, so here is all my makeup. It is in the bag because I'm bringing it with me and I packed my true bag yesterday, but I don't usually keep it in a bag. I usually have it all set up. Anyways, time to get ready. Here is the like eyeshadow palette. And look how dark the colors are. Okay, my Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 20 is now on. I know I'm really pale, but it's 20. Anyways, um, this is not sponsored by the way, but it would love to be spon I would love for it to be sponsored, so just a hint. But anyways, um, the next thing I'm using, oh my gosh, I forgot setting spray. Oh, well, okay. Just finished putting on the under eye brightener from Your Beauty in the lightest shade. Um, and now it's time for blush. And I know that this looks really dark, but it's actually like not as like dark or purple as you would think. Like, look, I put barely anything on. And now it's very light, but you can see it. And it looks terrible on camera, but I promise you it looks better in person. I curled my eyelashes if you can't tell. But anyways, now I do, mm, I'm gonna do eyeshadow now. <laughs> I swear I do not have the right eyes for eyeshadow. Like, like I just don't, like it does not look good. But anyways, like usually on like my normal makeup days, I just do like a little like light brown just to give it some little color. But like, it doesn't look good. The one thing I don't use from Mirror Beauty yet is my mascara. Last but not least, we have the Rare Beauty highlighter. I don't even know what the shade is. Illumin? No. I don't know. But anyways, um, so for highlighter, it's literally my favorite, favorite thing in the world. But I do a little bit on my nose, right there, on the bridge of it. Then I do some on the actual tip of my nose, like that. You probably can't see it, but I'll show you in the light in a second. I just needed a, the mirror to do this. Then I do some at the tip of my eyebrows but like you can't really tell because I have eyeshadow on but usually I do it like right here just to give my face some volume I guess and then I do a little bit right here on my lip but then I end up not liking it and just taking it off so <laughs> then I take my bigger brush <laughs> I have two highlighter brushes and then I do it on my cheeks. I'm sorry, I wish I could do um, makeup on camera. I really wish I could. And I do some on my chin. And I, I feel like that was like everywhere. But, oh wait. Forgot to do it somewhere. I take some of the highlighter and I just put it like on inside of my eye. I don't know if it'll show up because I have eyeshadow on I don't know like if it'll look good but I mean you can't really go wrong with highlighter so like who cares <laughs> and then later I will also be putting more highlighter um on my back because it kind of just works with my outfit I'll show you in a second wait I also have to show you that I also have the liquid highlighter in Rare Beauty but that one just works better with what I have here what I have going on I'm sorry I keep saying wait but I, I'm doing the setting spray because I forgot to put this on for the primer. But anyways. Alright, here's the final product. I know, it looks terrible. Anyways, now I'm going to go eat. And then I'm going to get dressed. And then we're going to make sure I have everything in my bag. And then we're going to stress for 30 minutes on the way there. Yeah. Okay, so I got my hair up finally. It took me like 20 minutes. I'm not even kidding. It literally took that long. But now, it's time to put the bow in. Okay, so... We put it on like so. 
then we have to it's actually really hard to like wrap you have to wrap the hair tie around it and then I wrap it around again because I have no hair <laughs> okay so then it's on and you pull it and it like messes the bow okay so then you go to here and I need bobby pins okay so then you take your bobby pin and you put it right here for the hair and the bow like that then you take the other one and you do the same thing that way it doesn't come up or like flip back when you're doing stuff all right quick change ready done this is the outfit this is what i'm wearing um this is actually going to be tighter i have to like clip it and it literally chokes me so that's why i'm not clipping it yet until we get there and then i just gotta put my warm-up on and then we're ready to go guys i am so sorry i literally forgot to film because once we get there we're allowed to have our phones for a little bit and i filmed like a little short but then after that they don't let us take our phones with us we have to just like live without them for like two hours no i'm just kidding but like no we actually do have to do it for two hours um uh so yeah but we hit zero yay I mean it though. I promise I'm going to film like everything tomorrow. My bag's not in. I'm all in bones. She's scared from the competition. Okay, so let me just update you. I did everything that I did yesterday for my morning routine today. I did the same things. I did the um, same thing. So I didn't film it because I don't want you to get bored. But now we are in the parking garage walking into the I elevator. And so basically, she doesn't actually do, she's not actually competing today. But I will. But so. she will eventually. So she's getting the, the feeling of it. So she put her hair up and I made yeah. her use hairspray because she I gets have, it. I have her old. Yeah, she has my old skirt on. Um, so that way she can get in the Wait, competition. You have to film it. Um, and then. And then um, I put we put some clips on her from my backpack and a little bow, so that way other people, so that way other people will clip her. Yes, so that way other people will clip her. And if you don't know what that is, it's like a cheer thing where you secretly clip people like little like clothespins kind of thing. You just clip them on. It's like a little fun thing that we do, and you can write like good luck and stuff. Anyways, I'm talking, I'm talking a lot, but I do that when I start to get nervous. No, so freaking creepy. I know I hate elevators, but I'm so yeah. Cold. And we also got Starbucks. That's the other thing. In case you didn't see me filming that too. Look, this is what <laughs> she's gonna do today. Yeah, we're gonna hit zero. zero. Yeah. Okay. So right now we're in second place, and <laughs> CA. Oh, don't don't be mean. Okay, but CA is um, in first right now, which is cheer athletics. But they can have the win for today. But to, no, no, they can have the win from yesterday. But today we are winning. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's. It. I hate the elevators. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Some of them do, some of them don't. Depends on the team.
three fill-ins at the last. We had three fill-ins at the last minute, so we didn't hit. We didn't fall completely, but we had some bobbles. But we're not gonna win. I know that's like to duck. I know that's like sad, like negative energy. But we're not gonna win because the other team we were against, Cheer Athletics, they hit. So. it is the next day um to be honest i didn't film yesterday because i didn't even want to think about us getting third place because we were so close day one but let me explain why we got third we were in second day one and we were so confident we were we were pep talking each other on the group chat we were doing all these things we were studying what we needed to fix everything was going great and then I don't know exactly how it happened, but our, one of our teammates, she, I didn't hear the story fully. She just kind of gave me a little explanation and she said that she cracked her neck too much and it like pinched a nerve or something like that. And so she couldn't move her neck because it made the muscles like tighten up and stuff. So we had to find a fill-in. Meanwhile, we already had a fill-in on our team because one of my other teammates broke her ankle two, three days before. So we had a fill-in already. Then we got to find one for the teammate who hurt her neck. And since she's in so many different parts of the routine, um, cause she's a back spot, we had to find a bunch of different things. So we had one teammate fill in for her as a back spot and who hasn't back spotted in over a year then we had to have someone who has never back spotted ever who is a side base or main base and fill in as a back spot and then we had to have we had oh and then we had one other person who had to fill in for her during pyramid or elite sense which was also a person who had to learn the tumbling and the dance and stuff so that's already three including the one who's filling in for the girl with the hard ankle then um we could not practice any of that like really we could mark it and like show them hand motions and stuff but we couldn't actually practice because three of our flyers are crossovers for a different team so we did not have them they competed before us so they went to warm-ups but we were in warm-ups they went to a different warm up. They competed. They came back when we had 10 minutes left on one floor to warm up. We had 10 minutes to practice it. And this one part, the entry for pyramid wasn't working. So one half of the pyramid did the entry, one half didn't. So we already knew we weren't gonna get points and we weren't gonna get first because we didn't have enough difficulty and the stunt didn't go. Then at the competition, well, especially during warm ups, we were doing terrible. It was so stressful because we were trying to think about ourselves. I was trying to think about my stunt group. My stunt group was the only one that got to practice. I was like, okay, we have to go out and be perfect because the other groups may not be. They might fall because they haven't had a lot of practice. We went out to compete. As you saw in the video, you didn't see the whole thing, but we actually didn't do terrible, okay? <laughs> we didn't. So what happened, we had three bobbles. And then they decided to put in a fourth one, which didn't make any sense. And the coaches tried to fight that, 
because we did a full round and they said that the girls like bent and that considered that was considered as a bobble but it wasn't so that's why we we're trying to fight it i don't think that it got fought because we got third or maybe it's just because the other teams hit and we didn't but then the other two bobbles was like instead of going all the way up to extension which is like your arms are all the way up here it was like it fell back down to prep so they didn't fall and touch the ground but they didn't hit either so that's kind of what happened that's why we got third but either way I was so proud of us for going out there with like 10 minutes of practice and people who were never a back spot or side base or whatever and went out and we didn't fall and we still got third we didn't we didn't even get last there was like four second third and first maybe there was a fifth I don't know but we did not get last so I'm pretty impressed to be honest they called last place and I was like we're not last I was so excited I was kind of devastated though because like it's hard because when we were backstage our coach was like this is not our time <laughs> he was saying you know this isn't we're not gonna win and it was kind of defeating but I think the most defeating part for me was when he said um today is not your day or something like that I I can't remember now but it was just so defeating to hear that right before we went on stage. But I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna try my hardest. My stunt grip has to hit perfectly because some of the other groups may not be. And we did, but I think our stunt grip was the full around that had the bent leg that they decided to count as a bobble. I don't know. But that also was not working even when we were, like <laughs> the day one it wasn't working and then we went out and hit it at the, in the routine. So yeah, but. I'm sorry, I'm chewing gum. I'm sorry, you're probably, you're probably really annoyed. But <laughs> I love gum and I need it sometimes. Um, but yeah, um, I've said um like 10 times in five seconds. Sorry. Anyways, <laughs> that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, that's great. Thanks for watching. Maybe this will inspire you to do cheer. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it won't because I'm talking about how devastating it was. Who knows? I don't know how you're, you'll interpret this, but either way, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. If you made it to the end of this video, comment scrunchie. Why you might ask? Because I got a scrunchie as a competition and it was raining on me right here on the floor. I have another one on the floor. So yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, comment scrunchie. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. My next video is actually going to be me going to Great Wolf Lodge for my sister's birthday. Bye. I love you. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.